Rome, presented by Chevrolet. Welcome back to Rome. I'm Doug Gottlieb. My guest tonight is a 10-year NBA vet who currently leads his team in assists, is second in points. I'm joined by Utah Jazz guard Mo Williams, who, by the way, is coming to us live from George E. Whalen VA Medical Center in Salt Lake City. And, Mo, I want to start there because last night you lose a really emotional game against a team you played for last year in the L.A. Clippers. You lose at home. And then you turn around and you go and hang out with the uh, – with the people at the VA center, you know, with those vets, I know your, your brother's a vet, your dad's a vet. What's that like emotionally to go from a difficult loss last night to, to trying to cheer up so many of our veterans today? Because, you know, you just said it, you know, to cheer them up. You know, I think, you know, we, we take so much, uh, you know, emotions for the basketball game. And when you come to the hospital, you, you meet these guys and, you know, whatever uh, they're going through, you know, you, you, you start to realize a basketball game really doesn't mean much. Let me ask you about last night. Big controversial foul called on you when uh, <laughs> you, you fouled Chauncey Billups. Chauncey shooting a three-point shot. Should David Stern be calling Chauncey Billups in regards to a flop? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, I mean, it's a bang-bang play, you know. It, it happens. He, does he owe you one? Is that what you're trying to tell us? <laughs> that, that's, my, that's my big bro. So, you know, he, he got one. He, he, that was, we call that vet move. It, w it was definitely a vet, a vet move as uh, Chauncey is a 15-year NBA vet. Let me ask you about the emotions of playing against the Clippers. Look, you, you've bounced around. You've been on a couple of teams, Cavs, Bucks, obviously, Clippers. And this is your second go-around with the Utah Jazz. But to go from so quickly playing for the Clippers and that young energy you guys had last year going to the playoffs, now playing against them, what was that like yesterday, last night, going against uh, the Clips? It was cool. It was cool. You know, I, 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 I didn't have any, you know, vendetta against them or – you know, my emotions went extra high, uh, which, which I felt really good about because usually when I'm playing a team that I play for, my emotions is high. Uh, I really, really, really want to play well. And nine times out of ten, it doesn't go well. If you look up my stats, me playing against my former teams, uh, they are not good at all. Uh, but I was calm coming into this game. Uh, I felt like I approached the game just like another game I would, just like I approached the game tomorrow against Orlando. And I got some good uh, success and, you know, uh, did really I accept the challenge, obviously playing against Chris Paul, uh, him being arguably the best point guard in the league. You know, I just had to prepare myself for him. Uh, and, and they got a good team over there. So, you know, I knew it was going to be a good game. And my team, they were going to need me to play well for us to have a chance to win. You did. You dropped 20 and 12, obviously, in a loss as the Clippers came back and beat you in Utah. Let me ask you about the Clippers, since you have firsthand knowledge of that team, and now you've seen them from the other side of the floor. You played for Vinny Del Negro. Is he the type of coach you think that is capable of taking this team to the NBA Finals? Well, you know, I appreciate you asking me that question, but, you know, I'm not the GM of that team. I obviously played for Vinny, but, uh, you know, I, I don't I don't know you know in, in in that regards of what coach is good for whatever team you know I think coaches are put in position and they got to do a job um, everybody's not going to like what he's going to do and I don't care what coach it is um, so I don't think it's fair you know to to for me personally to assess if that job is good for him or not. All right, let me ask you about LeBron, a guy who at times you were formerly critical of. Of course, you guys were boys, teammates in Cleveland, and he leaves. Um, now, all of a sudden, we've seen kind of a 180 in terms of public perception of LeBron since he won the NBA Finals, the NBA Finals MVP, and then wins a gold medal. The LeBron you know, and within the league, what people are talking about. Is he different? Is he really matured? Or is it just a product of the fact that now he's won a championship, so everybody changes the narrative? Well, you obviously mature with age. I mean, if you don't mature, mature with age and experience and things like that, you wouldn't be growing. So, uh, you know, I, I got a lot of respect for LeBron. Uh, I'm happy for, for him and his success. Uh, he's only getting better in my eyes. I mean, we see, we see him, you know, growing to, you know, the man he is as far as on the basketball court. Uh, from, from when I played with him in Cleveland to the player he is now. He's gotten better, you know, and definitely in a time when I thought he was the best player when I played with him in Cleveland. And he, he got better three years from then. So, 
he's only growing. He's still young. He's 27, 28 years old. So he's, I think, uh, you know, he's the best player to play the game. All right, l let me ask you personally. You've played on championship caliber teams, but you've played a little bit more of a secondary role. Now you're a star. You're leading him in assists. You're second in scoring. You dropped 20 and 12 last night. For you personally, is it better to be a go-to guy on a team that may or may not make the playoffs? or be kind of a bit role player, you know, scoring p points, but maybe coming off the bench on a championship caliber team. What's better for you personally? I want to win a championship. That's my goal. And I, and, uh, I appreciate the, the compliment by calling me a star, but I don't see myself as a star. Um, I see myself as a good player, a good basketball player. Um, just try to lead my team. I don't really care about, you know, the stardom aspect of it. I just want to win. And whatever role that's asked upon me, um, that's, that's what I want to do. You know, I don't, I don't want to get all the accolades. I, I can care less about that. Um, and I don't see myself as a go-to player. Uh, I see myself as a team player, and that's, and that's what I'm surrounded by here at Utah. We got a, lot of, uh, a group of players that's really good, and we just come together and play well. You know, we, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, and that's our, that's our motto. We play jazz basketball. You know, we play together, we play hard, uh, and it's not one guy. It's going to be a different guy each and every night. And far as to answer your second question, um, it's all about winning championships. And whatever role that's asked upon me, that's the role I'll play if it's, if it's a championship in the future. All right, well, listen, best of luck against Orlando. They're sneaky good. Just beat the Lakers, then beat Golden State. Now, of course, they get you tomorrow night. Thanks for visiting the uh, vets at the VA hospital. And we really appreciate you joining us here on Rome. I appreciate it. I want to end with saying, you know, I just want to give a shout-out to all the vets. You know, I think, uh, you know, the, we, we've done a great job of um, identifying them and, and showing them the support. And I think we need to continue to do those things. And you know, obviously my dad, my brother, you know, they, they experienced, you know, the, uh, the, the military life. And I want to give a shout out to them also. And the veterans' families that goes through the, the sorrows, that goes through the pain, um, just for, for us, just to continue to give them the support they need. Uh, put a smile on their face when they're going through hard times. And, uh, you know, I just want to, you know, let everybody know and let all the vets know that from my heart that I love them and, and I appreciate their support. And I, I wouldn't be the person of, in the place that I am without them fighting for, for myself and my family. Thank you. Mo, well said. Thanks for joining us.